Hello my friends, my name is Wiedi and welcome back to Sonic Origins. This is the one that everyone's been waiting for. It's Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the complete package. There's no Sonic 3, there's no Sonic and Knuckles, there is only Sonic 3 and Knuckles. The way it was always intended to be, but with the advancements of having both games in one. So, we are here in the brand new for this collection, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We have the Insta Shield by jumping and pressing the A button. We get a, a small brief invincibility window. And then we also have the Drop Dash, which uh, it turns out we get the lack of... We don't have the lack of adjustment to our spin dashes as we use it. It's got like the Mania effect, so it works. It functions like it's supposed to. Um, apparently it's called roll locking is what I've been referring to this entire time where once you enter a spin you cannot exit it basically. So in Sonic 1 and 2 you do the roll and then you're just sort of stuck until you jump out of it and then land. Whereas in CD because it was the first remade title by Whitehead and then uh, this one of course being made by Stealth uh, as well who's part of uh, Whitehead's team originally. Um, yeah we have the ability of like the proper drop dash. But yes, we have the Insta Shield here. I was never super aware of what the Insta Shield actually did, but now I get it. Um, it's actually pretty useful for dealing with enemies because that small brief, brief invincibility window will come in handy for dealing with enemies that have, you know, rotating hitboxes and various other things later down the line. I never really liked it in the past because I never really understood how it worked, but I understand it now, so hopefully we'll get to see some use out of it. I'm also hoping that because I have mentioned in the past, Sonic 2 is my favorite of the classic games. I am hoping that this version of the of Sonic 3 can sort of change my opinion a bit and make this my definitive way of playing Sonic 3 as well as maybe improving my opinions on it. I have heard so many people in on YouTube uh, in like the Sonic fan base talk about Sonic 3 in such a high regard and I don't want to discredit it. Like I've been discrediting um, Sonic CD a lot because I really, really think it's kind of badly made. <laughs> but Sonic 3, I know it is not badly made. My gripes with it come from, it could probably just be nostalgia, honestly. Uh, you know, Sonic 2 is obviously my baby, the one that I grew up with the most. So, you know, I had 1 and 2, and 2 is the one that really captured my attention and desire. And I had it on the Mega Drive alongside Sonic 1, but I never had, I never had um, Sonic 3 until like Mega or Gems Collection. And when I played it on there, I was like, okay, so I finally get to play the third Sonic game, but like, it's fine. I much preferred the music, the level layouts, the everything, uh, even the sprites of Sonic 2 to Sonic 3. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but it never captured me the same way it does the rest of the entire fan base. But it has so many great positives in this game that later impacted the rest of the entire series and some things which sort of went forgotten later on the line, but we'll get to those as we come to them. Um, as you can see, we did just collect our first Chaos Emerald. Let's actually discuss what we just did there. So this actually has what are probably the most entertaining ways of collecting special stages in the franchise, which Mania then adopted, is finding the giant uh, transport rings, which we find here in this little hideaway here. Um, this means you have to actually explore the levels in a way that is more entertaining than Sonic CD, but you can actually get a reward for it, this being the Chaos Emeralds, and obviously with Emeralds meaning supersonic because you may have seen it, but we got I could swear that you could push this Maybe it's a later one um, As you saw at the start of the game there we get the absolute super kicked out of us by knuckles uh, Who obviously we have no idea who he is, but from the little intro animatic that we saw no ah damn From the little intro animation that we saw he uh, doesn't seem to be on our side Eggman seems to have recruited this my dude this this <laughs> my dude I was gonna say this dude and my dude he seems to have recruited him for his own nefarious deeds um, but, uh, alas, we will, we will solve that mystery as we come to, okay, this is the one that I push, because there's actually rings below it, but the special stages in this game are actually super fun. Now, Tails, are you making this heavier for me? Because this does not feel like it should be going that slow. Um, th this is what Mania took it from, and they, they, they're good. I really like them. Um, I don't actually know many of the locations in Sonic 3 and Knuckles for these giant rings, so I don't know how this is going to go. We very well might not actually get all the emeralds in this. Oh, I couldn't control myself during that. Ah, oh, don't script it. I want to hit it as it comes down. Come on, man. Okay, I guess they're trying to do some things to, again, stop you from cheesing it. But... Can we replay that, please? Did I just fucking teleport? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so, um... 
we do still have the signpost from Sonic 2, which I like, and we get a new teleport, which takes us to bonus stages. These are also super fun. Now, this is something I really like in Sonic 3, is there are bonus stages, depending on your ring count, uh, that you can enter, and they can give you all sorts of goodies. So here, the B uh, bubble gives me a fire shield. If I hit this one, it gives me another fire shield. Um, but this is also just a really fun use of Sonic's physics uh, in like a pinball style format. We also have the rolling on the bumpers physics from Sonic 2, which is good. I'm going to see if I can hit this. Yes, I can. So this gives us a bubble shield. There is one more elemental shield, which we'll also go into discussion about. This gives us just 10 rings. We now have 115. There, that one. Ah, I missed it. The yellow one gives us a lightning shield. All three of these are elemental shields, which are highly regarded in the fanbase, and I have to agree, they are also great. So much better than, than just a standard shield. Um, each one has their own unique ability, so you can see this one. If I jump and then press the A button, I lose my insta shield, but if I hold it, I can uh, I can do a much bigger bounce, so it's good for platforming. It also gives us the ability to breathe underwater, which at the moment I can't demonstrate, but we will be entering another one of these special stages here to collect another emerald. So I'm going to go this... Uh, oh, okay. This way. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the other shields, the fire shield, it gives us in, uh, invincible, well, not invincibility, invulnerability to fire damage. So we can walk on lava, we can get hit by fire and nothing happens. And we also have a sort of forward uh, push. It's kind of like the precursor to homing attack, but not a homing attack. It's like the little dash you get when you don't lock on from like the adventure games. So it's like a really quick burst of speed, which is super fun to use. Um, and then the electric shield, of course, gives us a double jump and the ability to attract rings in, which I have always loved electric shields or like ring gathering shields. They're always super fun in the likes of like Sonic 3D Blast, uh, Sonic R. I really love the ring gathering shields. They're just fun whenever the rings just get sucked up in. Uh, so those are super cool. I, I, again, Sonic 3 has those going for it and they are perfect. And they are also another reason to incentivize exploration because having those shields make the game super fun to play and super explorable. So if you can go and find them, you've got a lot more options opened up to you. But let's talk about Special Stage. So as you can see, this is Blue Sphere. This is a pretty, I was going to say infamous, but actually I think people really, really like these Special Stages. I'm indifferent. Um, I think they are fine, obviously, with 60 FPS and Sonic Mania. I've gotten much better at these, and um, thankfully they stay the same each time. There is a Blue Sphere mode that you can play with the original Sonic and Knuckles cartridge by plugging in Sonic 1, where you can have infinite amounts of Blue Sphere stages, or it might be like limited, but it's like hundreds of thousands of iterations and it's all randomly generated, which is wild for the time if you think about it. But um, regardless, uh, all you gotta do. Oh, the music looped. What? <laughs> it's back to being slow. Okay, so we've had two bugs already. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that there have been some issues with this version of the game. Uh, Stealth was not super happy about what he turned in, um, or rather, he wasn't happy with what he turned in, and he knew that there could be more done to it, but then Sega were just like, it's done, it's out, out of the door, and somehow it came out worse than what he turned it in because of their implementation into Sonic Origins. So there is some beef behind the scenes, I won't go into that right away, um, I don't know if I'll go into it at all really. Um, and as you can see, unrelated to what I just said, uh, we get to keep our rings exiting the special stages. I don't think rings are, like, I don't think they affect special stages in any way in Sonic 3. Because we don't need them to go into the giant rings, but just something to be aware of anyway. Woo! Ah, here we go, we got the lightning shield. This is probably my favorite shield, just the suction of rings and then also the double jump is super fun. Like, when you can merge your, like, speed with a double jump, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Um... But yeah, so we've encountered two bugs so far, and apparently there are some more in the game. The game wasn't very well put together. Not by stealth, it's because he didn't get given the time he needed by Sega, and whatever they did has also gone and messed things up. So we're not going to be judging it too harshly, I'm not going to blame this version too much, but at the same time, this being a full price collection of nearly £40, you would hope that Sega would have finally learned some lessons, but it looks like Frontiers is going to be good. You're probably wondering why I'm dithering about here. It's because right here is one of the cool things about Sonic 3 and Knuckles is there's alternate paths depending on who you're playing as. So Sonic and Tails can't go here, but Knuckles can when you're playing as Knuckles solo. We won't be doing that in this because we are playing Sonic and Tails playthrough, obviously. Um, I don't know if I'll be showing off Tails and Knuckles gameplay. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I did do it for Mania uh, Plus. I'm trying to like not lose my shield here because if I touch the water, I will lose this. But I want to see if there's like... Fuck it, we'll lose it, because I believe there might be some goodies in here. Yes, there is. What is in here? 
Oh, it's so nice being able to jump out of a roll in whatever direction I want. That is nice. Okay, no, it wasn't any goodies. Okay. Well, it was worth a check anyway. You never know what you're going to find in this game. Oh, I should check as well. Oh, you might have saw it there. Okay, I got to bunch that ball off of um, Sonic by using the Insta Shield. That's the kind of stuff that makes it useful. And I'm going to try to use more of that in this game than I used to. Okay. Let us dash. Okay, now we can hit him. Okay. And you can see here now we got the forward pushing momentum thing from the fire shield, which is lovely. And we don't even take hits from his flamethrower, which is cool. Look at this. This is so much fun to use. And this is where the spinning signposts also came from in Sonic Mania. And if it lands on certain tiles, you can get other wee goodies between acts. And this is also where transitioning from one act into the next act also comes from. Like, a lot of this stuff is fan favorite stuff that travels over. Personally, I wasn't too fussed on, like, transferring acts, but I suppose it does make the game feel more lived in, more of a real world, which I do think is pretty good. Um, like, everything just continues on, which is pretty good, like, for the time that it comes out. So, you know, I can't at all knock it. The more I've grown, the more I can appreciate Sonic 3 for what it does, but I do know that preference-wise, I just prefer the gameplay of Sonic 2. I just think the way Sonic 3 is designed, I don't think it's designed for the speediness that Sonic 2 is. Um, and it is still like a very fast paced game as well in its own right, but I feel like later stages suffer from the Sonic 1 problem of it just really sort of hinders itself in its own level design. I don't know, it's sort of hard to describe. There's some real bangers, like Angel Island is obviously fun. It's not super fast, but it's Angel Island, so it's hard to hit, which is the first zone that we're playing in. There is Flying Battery that comes up in, I believe it's Sonic and Knuckles that playthrough comes up in. I'm not too sure. I believe it was meant to be in Sonic 3 and then they had to push it back to Sonic and Knuckles. It's a weird history that I won't go into myself. There's plenty of channels that can do that better. I recommend Game Apologist. He is one of the greatest for talking about classic Sonic. And Sonic 3 in and Knuckles is his baby. So if you want to hear someone that loves the game talk about it, you go to him. I highly recommend. But I'm here to let's play, not to give history. Uh, so I'm trying to focus and not lose this here. So what I'm trying to do is, if you get the outside of these blue spheres you may have clocked on, you can collect rings from the inside ones. But, okay, I'm gonna leave that one. Okay, I don't need to leave that one. This is probably gonna bite me in the ass. Okay. I'm making this way harder for myself than these be just because I'm trying to go for a perfect. The perfect really does nothing. I don't know what the point of going for it is other than like, I think it's just like one-ups or maybe in this game it's gonna be coins. Okay. Okay, and there we go. Nice, we didn't botch it. Um, you don't need to go for all the rings. All you need is all the blue spheres. I'm just going for the rings because it feels good. In Sonic Mania, you have to go for the, the medals, the silver and gold medals by getting the, the rings. But in this game, you do not. So I don't know why I'm doing it. Just for style points, perfect points. I don't know. It makes me feel good, okay? It's a, coll it's a collector's thing. <laughs> makes me feel real good about being able to do it. Um... I should say as well, in terms of, like, my knowledge of, of this game, like, I would say in terms of what I know, it goes Sonic um, CD at the bottom, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and then Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 uh, in terms of, like, memory and, be like, s like good at the game. I have definitely played 3 and Knuckles probably the second least out of the entire quadrilogy, or, oh, I don't think I've ever seen this route before. And we can use Tails to, to, to ascend again, which is cool. Ooh, there's a one up here. I have never been up this route because I don't think I've ever seen these platforms show up by Tails. Like, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is cool. Something new for me. Um, so yeah, I, there's gonna be a lot of stuff I don't know or forget and I'll probably miss a lot of special rings. And the reason why I'm flying through these unlike Sonic 2 is because if you know Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you know that we're gonna be collecting emeralds for quite some time in this game. Uh, so I want to get them out of the way now because I don't know when I'm going to miss them because I feel like I'm much more confident in this than, say, the Sonic 1 special stages or or the CD ones because with Blue Sphere, it is very skill-based. Like, you just need to, to do a bunch, a bunch of platforming, left and right turns. Like, I don't find them too difficult. No, I said that about CD, but for this one, I actually mean it. Um, they're, they're actually pretty straightforward and, and easy to do. Oh, I love this. I love going here and collecting rings because it's just Casino Night, but with the Sonic 1 special stage. Like, it's cool. I, the music sucks, though, but eh. No. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to get a jackpot. I mean, getting two with one of the character heads still gets you a shit ton of rings. Can I get a proper jackpot like Sonic 2? Damn it, I could have used you last time. Damn it. 
I, I will sit here and try and get this jackpot. Just you wait and see. The only downside is, as you can see, when we hit the edges here, they actually turn in to goalposts after a while. So it's kind of got a mixture of like the gems from Sonic 1 special stage uh, becoming your exit, which is kind of cool. Uh, as well as just being the actual walls. So it's a good mix here. It's kind of cool that they brought this back so soon, but not for a good reason. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously getting rings is a good reason, but like the actual way that they like get destroyed and turn into the goals is kind of unique and different. All right. I Yes, I am still going for... Shit, I'm still... No! Oh, I wanted to get that jackpot. I don't think it matters. There is a ch an achievement I was checking uh, in... Oh, what? I guess I didn't actually get the actual hitbox of the enemy. Hurt box. After all that, I wasted all my rings. God damn. Um, in Sonic 2, there is an achievement for it in this uh, Origins version. We'll be going for all achievements, by the way, later down the line. Uh, obviously, we'll be doing the story mode playthrough uh, in full, and then we'll go through mission mode, and then the last thing will be to clear up any remaining achievements. I have had notifications turned off, so I don't know what we have or haven't gotten, but we've gotten a decent amount so far, as far as I can tell. Ah. Okay, so his hitbox is the head. Or his heart box is the head. That's just me being me. Okay, we got the water shield here, so we'll be able to survive underwater. Which is glorious, because, you know, water stages in Sonic games are a thing. And it's not pleasant. So it'd be cool if we can keep this. I'm gonna see if there's any goodies down here. There is a small wall in here I can go into. Yes, big ring here. So yeah, I don't really care about um, blitzing through this game with all the emeralds, because, quite frankly, I, I we're gonna need them. You don't know how many of these I'm going to miss because I don't know where they all are. With Mania, I've got a really solid idea. I played Mania so much, so I've got that shit, like, on lockdown. I'm going to go for this big one in the middle here because this gets us so many rings. I'm just thinking back to, like, <laughs> the Mania playthrough. If you haven't seen my Mania playthrough, go watch it. Like, Mania and then Mania Plus. Like, that was... Of, of it, honestly just one of the best things I've got to do on my channel. It is the main reason why I'm doing this, why I took a week off to, to play this game when it came out, because I was like, you know, I got to finally play a game like Sonic, uh, ooh, shit, hang on, I've messed up my, ooh, hold on. Th these things all have a pattern to them, and I've gone and messed it up by going for that middle area first. So let's hopefully not make a mistake. I'm gonna be focusing a little bit. But yeah, that playthrough is the main reason why I wanted to do this series, because I realized that I do have it in me to be able to, to let's play these games, because I've always put these off. Uh, like, even on stream, it's really hard to do these games commentary-wise, because it's so hard to figure out what to talk about. And now that we're in Sonic 3 & Knuckles, I feel like I've done a really decent job of it so far. Oh, okay. I honestly thought I missed some of those during the jumpy parts. I feel like I've been doing a good job. Like, I haven't really been coherent, and I lose my trail of thought easy, and I'm just ramble, ramble, ramble but I'm talking and I'm not stuttering and I'm not stumbling over my words. Well, I am, but like, I'm not lost for things to talk about, which is great. This has always been like my biggest fear about playing these games uh, on the channel. And now we're here and like, I haven't even started talking about the damn game yet. And we're almost to the end of the first episode and we're not even out of Angel Island Zone yet. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about how this series has been going so far. I know the CD one got rather bitchy, but like, I mean, it wouldn't be possible to get through this entire playthrough without some bitching bitching at all. And I'm sure there will be some here in Sonic 3 as well, because as I've always said, like, it's not my favorite of the trilogy. And on top of that, there are going to be things that are wrong with it from the uh, remake version here that we have. Nice. Because obviously it wasn't perfectly ex executed like it was supposed to be. And everyone sort of knows about it. There's a lot of controversy on it right now. It was trending for a couple days. So... You know, we're going to experience this together, and I've tried to avoid as much spoilers as I can in terms of what is busted, what isn't busted, what is a problem. Like, I don't know. I, I've tried to avoid most things. Um, so hopefully... Oh, we're going to get to see all three bonus stages in this first episode. We get these bouncy things from uh, the Metropolis Zone. I'm going to stick with the Fire Shield just because we're still in Fire Island area, essentially. And it's basically just like this little machine thing. I don't know what these are called. Um, like a capsule machine. I'm gonna get both of these. We get one safety net of springs. Gonna keep going, gonna keep going. Ah, damn. You can get one-ups and stuff out of there, which I assume are coins in this version. Unless they just remove them, I don't actually know. Um, 
and of course all the bubbles and stuff like those those bonus stages are super fun I'm, I, it's a really good use of using the checkpoints which can be only be accessed by having enough rings so it gives you an incentive to keep your rings because you get other weak goodies and they're not like much of a distraction they're fun to go into and they're rewarding if you you know use them uh I, similar to the ones in mania i'm gonna refer to mania a lot but like it's like they're fun it's a fun distraction um it's not a bad pace breaker in my opinion so you know, there's plenty of stuff I do like about this game. I just think, like, the collection of a package, I prefer 2 over 3, and I still can't put into words what it is about 2. Or what it is about 3 that I have negatives against. Like, it, the main thing I always go to is, like, I don't even like the sprite of Sonic in this game compared to Sonic 2. I don't know why. I could probably have got a jump there. I don't want to risk it. Okay, there he goes. Like, this music, I think, is nothing compared to the Sonic 2 music. Like, even the Sonic 1 music, I think, is better than this. And I think that's part of it. Like, a lot of the music in Sonic 3, to me, sounded a lot more, like, just normal sega -y kind of music. Good job, Tails. I like that I can control him like Mania as well. Um, like, it's just very... It just sounds like generic Sega sounds and music. It didn't feel like Sonic to me, which Sonic 2 had in spades. I thought you don't chuckle. I guess only modern Knuckles doesn't chuckle. And here we are in Hydrocity Zone. <laughs> and here we are in Hydro City Zone. Okay, so let us begin and not die. Wait, where's my... Why don't I see, like, the water filter? Or... Oh my god. And here we are in Hydrocity Zone. All right, let's try this again. But yeah, wait, no, there is a water filter. Okay. Good job, Insta Shield. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Seals. Okay, yeah, there is a, a filter. I just barely see it. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I died twice to that. What kind of idiot am I? Okay, so Hyd Hydro City was always one that was never really, like, my favorite because it's it's an entirely water-based level. There's a Sonic CD speed trap for some reason. Um, it's entirely water-based, which is fine, but it's actually, you know, a fun water level because it's primarily speed-focused. There's a whole lot of sections that force you to go at high speed. Um... Which we'll get to later, but right now it's it's like the slow sections. Uh, mainly, I'm trying to just explore for like the giant rings. God, that invincibility music is good. I mean, it's such a small loop, but I really like it. Um, I do once again. I prefer the music from Sonic 2's <laughs> um, invincibility. I, I I don't know what it is, but the tunes in this game are catchy as hell. Um, oh, just barely missed that. Don't touch me. Uh oh. Do, 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 do. Gotta love the Captain music. Gotta love the Captain music. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Only CD sucks in that regard. <laughs> ah, CD, you are the clone of this series. Whoa. Okay. Oh, boys. And Teals is drowned. I've noticed that Teals. Ah, oh, damn it. That Teals is not um, disappearing like he does in the Sonic 2 port, so that's kind of good. It's only Sonic 2 that has that issue. Whoa! I don't know if that was stuttering or like something weird with like I don't know. Something about that didn't look right. Funky music. I do I do love like there's a lot of good aspects to this game. I'm I'm actually really glad to be playing this because I really don't give Sonic 3 enough credit, but like I will say, because I did stream Sonic 3 a number of months ago on, on Twitch, um, I do get fed up with Sonic 3 towards the end. I feel like it just goes on a bit too long uh, when it when it gets going. And I mean like the complete package, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like it really takes a while to finish. It's a long game, and to be fair, like for the time, again, it, it's that's really good. The fact that you can link Sonic 1, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles together and get such an, ex like, an extensive amount of game out of it, is great for like the 1990, like 1994 by the time that Sonic and Knuckles came out, I believe. So, oh, oh. like it, it's it was a well worth package, and like it's well worth. I mean, it's it's essentially two Sonic games merged together. Uh, you know, the same game that was you know cut in half basically, but it is two games merged into one, and it definitely feels like that lengthwise. But you know, it's it's it is worth it. You know, there's a lot of good stuff here. I'm gonna lose this. Oh, where am I? Well, there goes my electric shield. I do apologize for the flash. That is just part of the game. So here we got some like really good amount of speed here, but it is very automated. Like a lot of the, uh, 
Oh, a lot of the Hydro City um, automation or er, Hydro uh, Hydro City uh, speed sections are ah damn it. A lot of the Hydrocity speed sections are basically like automation. God damn it. Okay, grab that. Yeah, like I can just hold down and this will just sort of play itself. And I mean, a Mania was a lot like that too. Um, so I'm not going to try and discredit it for that reason. But like a lot of people say that this zone is a lot quicker than it is. And I think it's mainly just because it is sort of pushing you along. There's some uh, tails. <laughs> Okay, there are some glitches so far. So we've experienced like four because every time we're in that section where we're getting pushed and then it kind of goes up, it kind of stutters for some reason. And I don't know what that's all about. And then just there with tails, that was kind of funny. Hmm, is this going to be a goodie over here? We're kind of going a bit long on this episode, but uh, I kind of don't want to like end mid-level like this. That just seems a bit strange. Where are we? Oh, God damn it. Oh, you bitch. Oh, just eating everything. The bubble shield is also really good because it deflects like projectiles like that. And I go ahead and lose it immediately. So we're not going to get to use that benefit, are we? Um, all right, let's crush that dude. I'm going to get hit. Yep. Tails, can you carry me? No, we got that same new animation. No, Tails fucking dropped me. Tails is going to die. Is there a big ring in here? No, there's a small ring. Wait, I'm gonna die. That's not Tails, that's me. Uh-oh. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> that was close. All right. Okay, we're gonna have to call this episode real quick here. We might be able to... Oh, okay, this is a perfect stopping point. So next time on Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and we'll just say Sonic and Knuckles, we will jump into this big ring and enter another special stage. So thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.